Hello and welcome back to another edition of Memescape News, the best source information on the current happenings of the Memescape. I'm your host, Evan, and boy do I have an exciting week for you. But before I can get into why it's so exciting, let's first talk about some current events. There's one current event that I want to talk about this week, and it has entirely to do with online outrage surrounding the redesign of Lola Bunny. It's very simple. Everybody knows Lola Bunny from Space Jam. Like, 85% of millennial furries are furries because of Lola Bunny. Uh, she the hot rabbit. Um, and so, uh, when people discovered that their hot rabbit is no longer so hot, you know, it really, uh, it, 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 it shocked a lot of people. There was a redesign. I'm not entirely sure what the redesign was for because I'm not a good reporter. You can look that up yourself. I'm not your mom. I don't know. <laughs> No, that should be my job, I'm bad at this. But um, a lot of people were not terribly pleased about it, and plenty of people made memes about it, so uh, here you go. Weird. Of course, since this is a current event, it wouldn't make sense for you to invest beyond the peak of interest surrounding it, which rapidly f has fallen because, you know, by the time I get around to making this week's episode, it's already kind of done with, right? But that absolutely does not mean that you should just ignore the impacts because we could see, you know, resurgence of this uh, in the future if the media, which this, uh, which, it, which the redesign came from continues on, we see further releases, you know, that could be continue, it could resurface. So maybe what you should do is you should make them and then hold on to them, so that way you can post them on Twitter when it's hot again and get a whole lot of hearts. <laughs> and with that, let's go into the meme economy. This is a Memescape News special report. I only break out that title when there's something important going on, and let me tell you, there is something important going on. Over the past couple weeks, we've seen a significant uh, interest rise in NFTs, or non-fungible tokens. This is an incredibly complicated concept that I only just barely grasp myself, but the implications are huge and I will try my best to explain it to you. So. When you have a physical piece of art, right, a painting, you can either have, like, the original, which is only one, there can only be one original, and then there you can have copies, right? NFTs, non-fungible tokens, NFTs, they essentially try to do the same thing, but with digital media. So you can create a piece of digital art, and you can have some kind of token attached to it. It's called, uh, the full NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. And um, what that token does is you can then ver you can then tie it to a file, I believe, um, and pe and anyone can verify that token to prove that yes, this is in fact a re the original file, right? And that stays with that one file. That's it. You know, if you make copies of that file, you know that's not it's not going to have the token. Um, yeah, the way I believe the way it works is it's through blockchain, which is you know the the you know the the decentralized stuff going on with cryptocurrencies and all that sort of thing. It's confusing the way that it's verified, but what you need to know is that the verification process takes quite a bit of time. You need some good GPUs, just like if you were mining bitcoins or Ethereum or whatever. Um, but there's potential. There's a huge potential for this. Should the verification process become easier and the um, and the accessibility of the technology become more publicly accessible, as in it's a lot easier to do, we could absolutely see actual real memes being treated like an actual real economy with real money which takes the whole name of a meme economy in, th in the first place and just completely literalizes it. It turns, it, it changes everything. It's significant, it's huge. Now, 
it's very unclear whether it's going to become mainstream in use or just stay in a, sm in a few small niche uh, websites. Only the future can tell us that. But what I should know, but what you should know, is that this is a very, very important development, and its implications could be massive. You can uh, there's stores um, where you can use cryptocurrency to pay and buy digital art that has that token. It's like buying from a real art gallery. It's wild. It's really wild. And we, and in the future, we could see the same thing with memes. We're already starting to see a few things. I believe somebody sold like a rare Pepe for like nineteen thousand dollars or something. Personally, I don't know why in the name of God you would pay nineteen thousand dollars for a fucking Pepe meme. But you know what? I don't know, man. <laughs> Imagine. 10 years from now, a real meme economy, where it's not just about the money of trading likes and shares and retweets and getting a Reddit karma as your income, but actual real money from you making memes. The question is, of course, who would buy it, but frankly, just having an actual ability to become a real monetary marketplace takes the phrase meme economy and transforms it from a kind of conceptually confusing idea of like meme theory and turns it into a literal economy. And if that isn't a special report worthy piece of information, I don't know what the hell is. I'll keep you updated on this uh, on this story over the next few months as it develops, because this is something that has to do with emerging technology, so it's not going to be super quick developments. But hey, I've made this show for two and a half years, and I have no plans on stopping. So stay tuned every week, and sometimes I'll have something to share. And finally, here's this edition's theme of the week. Grubhub Parks give you deals on the food you love. The kind of deals that make you sus. That's about it for this edition of Memescape News. Did I miss something or say something, you know, wrong, say something stupid, something inaccurate? Let me know right down there and I'll mention it next time. Enrico will be back next week, probably. I think we'll, we're, all, we're all looking forward to it as usual. If you want to join him and become a guest on this show, let me know right down there in the comments. We'll di in ch exchange Discord information and we'll go from there. See you ladies and gents later.